it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is day six of January. So today's sketch is from Cassie. And when I was looking at this sketch, I was like, I can totally make this into a December daily sketch. So that's what I'm going to do. So the funny thing is, I am working on the back, I believe, of... No, it's the front. Um, okay, so here was my process. I already knew I needed to use this page protector mainly because of day 22, um, which is my son's surgery. And it's already a page protector that has two three by fours on the top and then a four by six on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make it a six by eight uh, layout, but I am going to chop it up to make sure that it fits in the pockets. So that's what you see me doing here, which takes probably the most time is figuring out the sizing because it's not like you can just cut it and then it works perfectly because you have the seams and everything like that. So I'm starting with some black cardstock because the, the pocket pages are not exactly six by eight. They're actually a little bigger. So I start with the black cardstock and then I take this polka dotted six by eight paper and I center it in the middle of that. And then I am going to do my trimming. So I want to make sure that all of my pieces fit in the pockets perfectly. Then I am going to take them out and I am going to work on them as one full layout. Um, and that's just how it works for me. Um, especially because I knew I wanted to use this particular page protector. So I went through my Simple Stories paper pad and I trimmed a bunch of strips. Um, they're probably half an inch, I would say. And I'm just kind of layering up, trying not to have like two reds next to two reds, two greens next to two greens, that type of thing. Uh, two florals next to two florals. And that gives me the the strips that you see in the sketch. And they're all going to be to the right hand side, just like the sketch. Now, of course, my canvas is a little smaller, so I'm not going to have as much white space, which is totally fine with me because I'm not sure that white space and I really get along. Like, I absolutely love when other people make this beautiful white space layout and I try and I was like, it's missing something. I need to add something more, more, more. Um, so it's just not my style, which is totally fine because we all have our own styles and it's fun to play with um, different styles from, from here to there, that type of thing. Um, I did skip a little forward, so I did glue down my strips and then <laughs> I actually called my daughter to have her bring me the ribbon that was around um, this mason jar that my friend had given us um, so I could put that on as one layer. So that's what I did. So my story for this particular day, which is day 21, is that our friend made us some homemade Baileys um, and we drank some. So I put it in two glasses and then I sent her a picture. So um, I thought that was kind of a good sweet story to tell um, about the generosity of, of our friends. So I did trim it down so it only fits in the card down below because I didn't want it to go up at the top. And then the little gift tag, which is that Christmas tree that was on the mason jar. I put that on this uh, layout as well. Also, there is a chipboard uh, snow globe and a chipboard tree. 
So I'm definitely embracing the trees. Also, I needed to get a red bow because she put a red bow on the top of it. Um, so I decided just to add that cute little um, red bow to the bottom to kind of symbolize a little bit of that. And then um, I'm going to glue everything down with some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. I have been removing some of the height of the chipboard um, in this project uh, just because I don't want it to get too thick. Um, but I do love dimension. So it's, it's a little hard, but, um, if you've ever done a December daily or a December documented, they get thick fast. I, they just really do. Um, so on the upper card, I just did, uh, my number of floral and a little fake Brad. I am going to add just a couple of extra gold hearts around and that is going to do it for this layout. So I really hope you enjoyed a little something different. I know it's January, but a lot of us are still finishing up our December projects and um, I just love how it looks. So there is my final project. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Make sure you head over to the Paper Issues um, Friends and Fans page and play along with this sketch also. So that's going to do it. Remember to wear your crown, and I will see you tomorrow for another sketch. Bye.